Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these Princess 12mm Rivoli earrings. They are easy to make, they are a beginner's level tutorial, so I'm sure by the end of this video you're going to be able to make them by yourself. These are done with the starting peyote kit that my friends from Beading School by Erika Sandor were so nice to send me. And here is the unboxing video of this beautiful collection. If you decide to buy this collection, you will be able to make not only this piece, but so many different pieces. And there are free tutorials for them. And there is a leaflet that slowly and easily explains all the details for how could you do all of this, even if you are a beginner. This kit might be used not only for beginners in beading, but beginners in bezeling, because step by step it explains how to make a simple bezel around a Rivoli. In this case, I'm showing 12 millimeter Rivoli, but uh, there are many different sizes that you could bezel. Bezeling is this part here around the crystal, uh, done from seed beads. Okay, now I'm going to cover here the basics and give you this beautiful design. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. In this way, you won't miss my new upcoming absolutely free tutorials and uh, you will enjoy beading with me. Okay. So now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so as I told you here, I'm using the beads from the starter kit, my new peyote bezel by Beading School by Erika Sandor. They were so nice to send me this kit. And maybe if you were at the live teaching at the 5th of October, you saw how many beautiful stuff could be done from this kit. Okay. So now what I have here, uh, these are 11 Delica beads in this beautiful grey color and I'm using two stunning colors of 15 beads. You could use one color but I will show you one color at the front and one color at the back. Here uh, I use this earring findings that are also from this collection. Everything is from this collection except for the scissors. Okay, this is 12 millimeter Rivoli beads that I will be bezeling today. If you don't know what is bezeling, don't worry, I will show it easy, like a beginner's level and you will be able to do this. This is fire line that is 0.005 inches, which is 0.5 12 millimeters. This is extremely strong and great thread. Uh, this is also included in the kit. You have everything, even a beading mat. I'm not using their beading mat because I think uh, black will uh, make uh, my work pop up more for tutorial purposes. I like so much their beading mat, by, by the way. And uh, these are size 11 tulip needles. I usually, guys, break uh, one needle each week or one needle in two weeks. I'm using uh, beadsmith needles. They are good, but uh, I break them. I don't know. Maybe I use them too much. And this needle, when I tried it, preparing for this tutorial, it didn't bend. Uh, it's just uh, bending like this, but not staying in this odd shape compared to other brands that I used. And see how stunning uh, is this for holding your needles. Great, great. I liked it so much. Okay, and I'm using here scissors. And I also use this fire polish 4mm beads. I like this color. This is amazing color. And uh, I will use them with my project. Okay. So now guys, I'm going to start by picking up 32 beads from this Delica 11 And why 32? Because here in the leaflet that's included in this 
beautiful beading uh, kit that I will link down there uh, in description. It says that if you are making 12 millimeter Rivoli or Chaton bezeling, you should use 32 beads. You should start with 32 beads. And I'm making now earrings uh, with this 12 millimeter Rivoli. This is one of them. The other one I already bezeled. That's why I'm not showing it here. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up uh, these beads and I'll be back. Okay, and before I start, I just wanted to give you a closer look of this Rivoli. It's so beautiful. It is used in the Forget Me Not tutorial. It's amazing. Okay, so what I need to take to bezel it are 32 of these beautiful 11 0 Delica beads. Okay guys, and I'm here where I just pick up my 32 beads. It is 8 times 4, it's 32. I didn't want to make you watch me picking them up. Okay, I'm sliding those down. Now, what I want to do next is go one more time around all of those beads. I will go through all of them. If you are familiar with Peyote Stitch, maybe you know that the first row eventually becomes two rows. If you don't know what I mean, you will see in a while. Your beads just arrange in this mosaic way when one is popping up from one side and the other is popping up from the other side. So in fact, this 32 beads will become two rows of 16 beads, okay? Now guys, what I do here is that I want to make a knot. Okay. And I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And what I want to do is that I want to make one more knot. Okay, and pull like this. And now I have this and now you will see what I'm talking about. You will see how I will turn this into three rows in fact, because the row that I'm adding is one row and here I will turn this in two rows and I will have three rows of peyote. If it's confusing for you, just follow the steps and uh, you will figure it out later. Okay, and I'm taking one delica bead and what I want to do after I take it is that I skip the next delica and go through the following. You see where my thread is exiting out of and where I'm going through. Okay, and I pull. Then I'm going to take one more delica bead. I skip just one bead guys, only one bead. And I do this. Take just one more, skip one, Delica, and go here. By the way, I have two variations of bezelings on my channel and you could see them at the eye icon. This is from the other collection of beading school by Erika Sandor. And uh, I will link to this collection as well in description, okay? Now I'm going around. Okay, I think you got the idea. Now continue this the same way until here, almost until the end, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and as I continue beading, here I am at my last step, where I'm going through the last bead of my previous row. Okay, so now I have this. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is exit here in this direction and reach the central row of my work. Okay, so I'm going here. I'm here in the center. And this is, guys, where my Rivoli will fit 
here it will be. For now, I will leave it here. I will put it back when I make the back of my work. Now, what I do is that I take one 15O of this beautiful metallic silver color and I'm going, I'm exiting through one of the beads that are sticking out. Okay, and I'm going through the other one that's sticking out. I think up to here it's really easy. It's like a beginner's level easy. Okay. Now I go here. And here. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay. Okay, guys, and I will continue this and meet you here. Okay, and I'm just filling the gaps here. Here I am at my last step. I'm just filling the gaps between the bits that are sticking out. Okay, and you see what I have now. Okay, now, guys, I'm going to do an additional row and I'm going here through these bit that's sticking out, the 15 all that's sticking out. So I'm stepping up in my next row and I want to pick up one bit. And you see how my peyote stitch is forming. It's like a mosaic stitch as I said in the beginning. Okay, I'm taking one, going through one. Filling the gaps like I did before, pulling to make them stay in their nests nice and tight. Okay, then I go through the following, and I think, guys, you get the idea. Now I'm going to show you this one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, continue and meet me. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I need to add my last two beads from this row. Okay, and I'm taking one of them and going through the one that's sticking out the most and then I'm taking the last one. If you feel that there is not enough space to add all of the beads, don't worry because your work will bend a little bit to the center. Okay, there will be a slight bend to it to the center. Okay, and now the front part of my work is ready. Okay, the front part of the bezel, I mean. Okay, and uh, our rivoli will be here in the center. Okay, this will be the back of my work. Okay, and I should reach this part and start adding some beads. Okay, how I do this. As I'm exiting through one of my silver beads, what I want to do is go in this direction and exit here where the holes of my beads are. The holes between my beads, I mean here. Okay. Then I'm going to put my Rivoli inside and I'm going to start adding the other color of beads for the back. Okay, this is 15 all and I'm exiting through one of my beads that are sticking out and I'm going through the other one. Okay, this is what I have. Then again, 115 0 And I go here. Like this. So, I don't need this Rivoli here in the center while I do this. I will put it after my next row. Okay, but you see how your work bends to the center when you do this. You see, when I pull, this side is bending to the center, okay? 
and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I'm here guys where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and you see how it bends beautifully to the center and uh, this will be absolutely the same with what I did from this side. Okay, so this is the last, the last bit that needs to be added here. Okay, and always when I add the last bit, I make a transition to the bit that's sticking out the most. Okay, so now what I do in this step, I could hold it like this, it will be easier for me. Uh, is to take another of these 50 nose and go here to the one that's sticking out. You see I'm exiting through a bit that's sticking out and I'm going through the other one that's sticking out. I'm basically doing this all the time guys. This is the basics of peyote stitch. Okay. And when I use different sizes of beads, like here 11 holes and 15 holes, my work is bending to the center. Now you see what I have. My beads are sticking out and I will continue doing this guys until the end of this row and before I make um, before I close it, I will put my Rivoli in it. So see you in a while. Okay, guys, and when I continue this row, you see what I have. And before I close it, I want to put my Rivoli in it. Okay. Now, I think now is the time to put my Rivoli inside. Because if I continue, it won't be possible. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. I'm taking one seed bead, going through the one that's sticking out, and so on and so on. Okay guys, and you could make a reinforcement around it to make it stay in its nest and see how beautiful it looks. It's amazing, amazing colors. Okay, so now what I want to do is reach here the middle peyote row that is sticking out, you see. I'm going out through one of the bits that are sticking out. Okay guys, and as I'm exiting from this bit that's sticking out here, what I want to take is a 15 o a fire polish crystal and a 15 o of the same color I was using here at the front. And what I do is that I skip the next bit that's sticking out and I'm going through the following just like this, okay? And then I'm going to repeat this. I'm taking a 15 o 4 millimeter fire polished crystal and a 15 o I skip the next one that's sticking out and go through the following that's sticking out. Okay, and pull. I will show you one more time, 15 o a fire polish crystal and a 15 o Skip the next one that's on my way and go through the following. Okay guys, and now pause this video and continue this until the end of this row and I'll meet you here to tell you what's coming up next. And I'm here guys at my last last step where I need to take my last three beads 15 o crystal and 15 o 
and I'm going here through this one that's sticking out the most that is the first from this row where I started this from okay now you see what I have now guys in my next step I'm going here through this 15 O and I want to exit out of my fire polished crystal okay here I am now I'm going to take one fire polished crystal and I'm going through the following then I take one more go through the following one more okay and I will continue this until the end of this row and meet me here after that okay guys and when I continue this this is what I have and I'm going here adding my last bead from this row then what I want to do is that I want to go through this bead that's sticking out you see I have something like a peyote here one up and one to the inside and now I'm going to take five 15 o seed bead okay here I have my five on my needle as you may see and then I skip this crystal and go through the following okay now i have this take five more okay i have five skip this one and go through the following okay then i will take five Okay, five here. Then I go like this. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm taking my last five beads from this row and I'm going here in my last crystal okay I like it so much and now guys what I want to do of course you could go reinforce the last row that you did but after that it is the time to attach your earring finding here it is it's really beautiful okay and I want to attach it like this because this will be the front of my earring if you like better this side make this one front of your earring but I like this one better and I think my Rivoli is more beautiful from this side okay so now as I'm exiting through the middle bead from this five here you see here I have two and here I have two and this is the middle one I'm going to take two seed beads I will go here through this and I'm going to take two more okay I have two more and what I do is that I go back in circle through this central bead here And now guys, I'm going to reinforce. Okay guys, now my earring is almost ready. I just need to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following seed bead and I could make more and more knots until I feel my work is secure 
and after I make my last knot I go through the following seed bead and cut my thread okay and now guys my earring is ready okay guys and now my princess 12 millimeter riboli bezeled earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button in this way you will know when i make absolutely free new tutorials usually two times a week and you will be inspired often you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find links to uh, this collection that i'm showing here the starter bezeling kit and to the the previous collection that i showed you in the past the poorest collection and to different uh, more resources to be inspired in beading thank you so much for watching bye bye from me